Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to clean up my modules situation and talk a little bit more about the modules themselves. Um, how you add them. I know I mentioned them across a bunch of different uh, different videos. Not everyone watched those videos. So I'm going to talk about just how to clean up your modules, how to deal with your modules. If it's been a while since you've opened the program, you know, updating your modules, that kind of thing. We are using version 2.0.0. Um, which is the latest build at the time of recording. So you can see here, I just have the base Jamovi uh, modules. We have our exploration, which gives us, you know, our descriptive scatter plots. We have our t-tests, we have our ANOVAs, we have our regression frequencies and factors. And if you've seen many of my other tutorial videos, you may be um, wondering where my other ones are across the top here. And that's because most of them uh, need some updating because it's been a while since I've used this computer. This is my um, office computer on campus. And so it sat over the course of the summer. I've updated it to 2.0, but packages that I have installed on the back end on the, you know, the sort of the additional modules that you don't really need to have to do some of the you know, basic functions of Jamovi. Um, they're sitting in my library available, but not installed because installed version is incompatible um, or an update is required. Um, that's really what ends up happening here is, uh, I mean, I have all of these installed, all of these different modules installed, but they were updated and they need to be, um, they need to be updated to be able to continue working with my 2.0 because I have older versions of them. And so if you were to just look at installed here, and again, how I got here is by clicking on this plus modules here. And I just went to Jamovi library. You, you can, the same place, um, it'll take you to the same place if you go to manage installed. Manage installed will give you the installed tab here and it will go through all the ones that you have. Now, instead of clicking on remove, we don't want to do that. We actually want to go to available because this is where you can update what you have already installed. So for example, let me find, um, so the first one was uh, RJ, which is the editor to run R code inside Jamovi, which is a way to bridge the two, right? So if we find RJ, I'm pretty sure I have it installed here. It's not in the same order. Of course, um, to get the LSJ data, you do need to install it. Um, so be mindful of that. Let's see, RJ, where are you? says I need to update. There it is, right? So it's created by Jonathan Love, one of the folks uh, behind, one of the developers behind Jamovi. Um, so it makes a lot of sense. Now, if I clicked on remove, it'll take the whole thing out and it will just be, instead of an update, it'll be an install button. And of course, we don't need to go through all that. We just need to update it. So we're going to update it. Happens all behind the scenes. You should get a nice, lovely green checkbox here. Okay. And if I go back to installed and I find RJ, luckily it didn't put me back up to the top. Look, it's fine. We've got 1.1. We've got 1.1 1 .1 now installed. Let's find the next one. Let's so we can compare what we have. So J Power. Let's find J Power. Nice little uh, editor or a little uh, module to help you with uh, power. Um, it, the current one is uh, 0 0.1.2, and that is the one. Okay. So the titles don't tell you which one you have, but it's clear that we don't have 0 0.1.2. So we do need to update that. So I'm just going to go through this stack of available, and I'm just going to update all of these. And you can see how quick it takes how whip quick it goes, super, super quick. Um, and uh, as soon as one finishes, you can start the next one. Um, that's how wonderful it is. So we're gonna go through and, and uh, we're gonna update all of these. And as I'm updating them, you can see that they're starting to appear across the top here and get walrus, get toster. I haven't used toster. Uh, Death watch, good old survival analysis. A little rough for uh, the coronavirus times. Uh, Flex plot, great module. Uh, a little bit bigger of a package than most because it has a lot of um, there's a lot of R packages underneath it. Okay, so you know, update more tests, update. And, um, we need to update Scat, uh, Statcat. So it's a good good tool there. Um, behavior change. I like to show behavior change in my behaviorism class. Okay, you can either uh, you can apparently stack them. Psychopedia uh, is a good good one. Amp Lander. Okay, there's also a bunch here that I need to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just saw one that's new. Expect a expect a uh, forthcoming um, tutorial on Rosetta. Hell yeah. Uh, it's based on the Rosetta stats book, but we will. That doesn't matter. We'll install that. And there's a few other ones that I think I'm going to install, which um, if I install it here, like uh, SEMLJ, SEM, Structural Occasion Models based on Levon. I haven't done it yet, but you know, uh, I mean, I've done, I've talked about uh, how to do SEM through Jamovi before, but this is a new package, so we'll see. Expect, a, expect any new ones that are on this list or Jamovi 2.0 and higher um, to have an associated video, especially ones that I know how to do. So Path Analysis, Marcelo Gallucci, um, same guy who uh, did like Jam and uh, this is MLJ. I don't think I've done some LJ. So yeah, that's um, doing this and uh, many, many more are added as time goes on. So you just make a Jamovi, you can make Jamovi your powerhouse. You're still afraid of R, 
can make Jamovi your powerhouse with these lovely Jamovi connections. Now, this other tab over here is sideload. Here's where you can sideload in our packages. And I'm not entirely sure because there are no instructions on how to do this. Um, I haven't attempted it myself, but my, um, I imagine that you would sideload a CRAN R package. And you can use R mode to use it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do want to see um, if there's any information on how to do this uh, in the Jamovi um, readmes or anything like that or any of the Jamovi tutorial stuff that they have on there. Though the official stuff, of course, I am not an official Jamovi tutorialist. I am just a hobby Jamovi tutorialist. <laughs> That's how you mess with your installed and available packages. Just pay Bear in mind that if it disappears from the top here, you may need to um, go to uh, available and click on um, the update button. Uh, installed comes over here and then you can either hide or remove. Scatter apparently has some problems, but I didn't see. It says installed. That's interesting. Scatter needs to fix itself. It's, it's, it's working. And as you can see, it's the only one. Is it the only one? Nah, clinical path. I need to remove that because there's no update for it. Like, oh, I don't think. Descriptives. Hmm. In any case, that's how you do it. And uh, if you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.